Hey guys, it's Kip from Famous by Friday Pickleball. Got an exciting new review. We've got four relatively new companies that have been started in the last year. And we're going to take these paddles out and hit them for the first time. After we did the YOLO review, we got to thinking that, hey, there's all these other companies out there that just really got started. And what are their products like? The YOLO paddles, we just love those. So we thought, hey, it'd be cool to get some some of these new companies that haven't had a lot of exposure maybe grab these paddles get out there and hit them we got like i said we got four paddles the rockney curve apex the grooven raw 16s paddle the ding star it's a carbon paddle as well and pello so we're excited to get out and get these um we're just like i said after we did the yola paddle we're just really, and really impressed with that. We're, we really want to get out there and try these new paddles and get them some exposure as well. So all of these have the honeycomb polypropylene cores. The Rockney has a fiberglass surface. The other three, the Grooven, the Dinkstar, and the Pello, all have different forms of carbon surfaces. So, and I believe the Dinkstar has a two-layer carbon surface. We're just excited to get out and hit this, see what people have done, and see what these new companies have, have come up with. So head it out right now. Hope you are too. You get to try these with us. Very excited to do this. We'll be back shortly.
back. Just had the last few weeks of playing with these paddles. Just a great time. We spent a lot of time with each one of these paddles and then kind of went back and played with them again just to kind of see if our first impressions and what we thought and we wanted to remember correctly and honestly enjoyed them the, the second time as much as we did the first. Each paddle is a little bit different, but they're all really, really good paddles. So going into this, we didn't know what to expect. We didn't have anything. We never really played with any of these. We didn't know the company, so we didn't really have anything to base our first impressions on or when even the, the first ball strike, we had no idea what was going to happen, but we're really pleasantly surprised. Like I said, each one of these are a little bit the same, but a little bit different. If you're looking for control, accuracy, uh, just, just plain consistency, the Pello and the Grooven had great, great accuracy, both of them. Um, I spent probably a good week with the Grooven doing uh, clinics, lessons, uh, open play, drills, and you can just park this on a dime wherever you want to park it. Same with Pello. You can put it pretty much wherever you want it. Great accuracy from both. They're both more traditional size paddles. I think that helps versus the elongated paddles, which are more, you know, maybe more a little more power oriented. Um, so going to that, which paddles had more power? The Rockne and the Dink Star. Both of these had power. The Dink Star probably had one in the power category because it just it it just had a little more pop. Uh, the Rock Knee had great power just because, or good power, just because of the fiberglass covering. I think it kind of just, uh, its tendency is to have a little more power, a little more pop. The Dink Star had a, a lot of power. It was very aggressive. You could get great depth on serves, returns, all your shots. You could hit, you know, uh, if you're hitting back toward their feet, trying to get to their feet, you could do that with pretty much ease. Also, as far as the Dink Star up at the net, even though it weighed in at heaviest at 8.0 ounces, the other three were at 7.8 ounces, it was the heaviest. It was kind of the quickest at the net, too. You could really get through the air really nicely with the Dink Star. So that's an added bonus. It was a lot of fun to play with. So it also, if you're going to go for spin, the Dink Star probably won out in the spin category. I think on their website it says the Dink Star has... Uh, an insane amount of spin. It might not be insane, but it is, it's a, it's a lot of spin, and the spin is easily accessible, whether backspin, topspin, uh, whatever. It, it, it grabbed it, carried it through, it held on the paddle face for a while. But they all had that ability to spin as well, but I would say the Dink Star won out for that. As far as feedback, they were all a little bit different. Yeah, I always talk about feedback, and I want to know where the ball came off, and I want to know, you know, just sound-wise and also feel where the ball came off the paddle face. Um, you could definitely feel on the Dink Star, but once again, that goes back to the most harsh paddles are going to be the thinner paddles. The Pello and the Dink Star are both 13 millimeter paddles. They're both narrow, so consequently, you're going to feel them. You're going to feel the ball come off, and you're going to feel where it came off a little more than the thicker paddles. Oddly enough, as far as feedback, and they all had good feedback, the pillow was probably the harshest, but once again, it's thin. Um, you just kind of felt where the ball came off, and it vibrated a little bit if you missed it. It was probably the harshest. The rock knee was also a little harsh just because it felt with the fiberglass base. It felt there was a little vibration no matter where you hit on the, on the rock knee paddle. The Grooven paddle was totally different. It's very solid. Very solid across the face everywhere. You didn't really know where you hit this, but you got the same results regardless because anywhere across this face, you were going to get a positive result. Also, there is almost zero sound coming off this face. It's the oddest thing. It's the most quiet paddle I may have ever heard. I, it, it, 
when I play someone, I like to hear the ball being struck off their paddle face so I know exactly how well they hit it. Um, with the groove and value, you're never really sure because it's really quiet. Um, which was just kind of, once again, we didn't have anything to base this off of because we never played with these paddles. So it's just, it was an oddity. It, it's not really off-putting or anything like that. It's just, it's, it's just different at the time. All these are really good paddles. They all do something just a little bit different. It, depending on your game, they may fit really, really well. In fact, if you're looking for something different, looking for something you know nobody else is maybe using um, that's at a decent price range, I, I would really look into any of these paddle companies. Plus, they're all making something new. Uh, Grooven has four or five other paddles coming out, thinner version. You know, maybe a 13 millimeter versus the 16 millimeter. They've got the elongated version, the 16 and a half versus the more traditional size. Um, so there's different paddles. They've got new paddles coming out. Rockney already has a, I believe it's called a Curve Carbon X paddle with the carbon face. It's coming out. It's a very good paddle. I would, I would really implore you to try it because it is really, really, really good. Dingstar. They've got a 16 millimeter version coming out, coming up. I'm really excited to see if it hits as well as this. I think it'll appeal to even more people because it'll be just a little bit maybe softer and maybe more control. Just really excited to see where they're going next. I don't know about Pillow. I don't really know if they've got anything coming out yet, anything new. I'm sure they do. Um, I just didn't get a chance to ask them. The companies are great. I got a chance to meet and talk to the owner of Dingstar. Super nice guy, great company, really nice people. I got a chance to talk to the owner of Groovin on the phone, spent probably 30 minutes with him on the phone and exchanged some emails. Really great guy, really super company, and, and honestly, great paddles. Um, the other companies were really good about chatting with me, text messages, uh, emails. They're, they're all really anxious to get out there and they know they have a good product and that's cool. That is really awesome. I'm really anxious to hear if any of you have played with these, what you thought, if they ended up in your bags. The current version of these probably won't end up in my bag. However, the Groovin paddle, Adrian is playing with it right now. She is, in fact, I had to get this out of her bag to do this video. She, she loves this paddle. It is a really good paddle. And I, uh, I'm telling you, it, it's great. It's, it may not have a lot of power, but it is accurate and does the job and really has great feedback. Really nice paddle. So one of these paddles has actually made it in our bags. And that, that's really awesome. That says a lot to, you know, their, their first effort and what they did and what they're going to do in the future. Very excited to see their transition into, you know, just what they do next in Pickleball. So very excited to see that. Guys, thank you. Thank you for stopping by. As always, please hit like. Please hit subscribe. Thank you for stopping by. Hope you're getting out there and playing. We're headed out right now. It is crazy hot here, but we're headed out anyway because we love the game. Hope you are too. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time. Did you just record a whole session and then it wasn't recording?